Thanks for tuning in to Roughing It Outdoors, powered by Ford. I'm Adam Eakle. Antelope Island, beautiful, rugged, and full of wildlife. For one man, Antelope Island has become kind of a sanctuary, a place where he's been able to prove to not only himself, but to others, that you don't necessarily need the use of your legs or your arms to have a passion for the outdoors. There's nothing more clean and pure than being out in, in God's country in the fresh air and, and, and seeing the beauty of nature. Meet yeah, yeah, yeah. Larry Maurer, a man that friends and family describe as a mule deer addict. I've loved it my whole life. My dad got me hunting when I was very young and I've loved the, the hills and the mountains ever since. So. Back in 1983, while Larry was scouting for deer, Larry hit a rut, flipped his bike, and broke his neck. I've been riding motorcycles for 14 years. It wasn't even in my top 10 horse tracks, yeah. uh, but it was definitely the most damaging. I broke my neck at the C4-5 vertebrae, spent four and a half months in the hospital, and I've been in a wheelchair now for 26 and a half years or so. Larry knew he would no longer ski, no longer ride a motorcycle, but says he wasn't willing to give up on hunting or the outdoors. He's had the opportunity to hunt the famed Heaton Ranch on the Ponsagant, but his true passion is taking photographs and video of big bucks and then looking for their antlers after they have shed them. I, can do, I can't get out and, and hike the sagebrush, but I have friends that uh, in the past have volunteered to do that for me. I've kind of coerced them to do that. More passion than anybody I know. He knows every deer down to the very time I mean, he can remember a deer 30 years ago. I mean, the first deer we ever saw, he remembers. Deer sheds decorate every room in his house, from the big sheds his dad found back in the 70s to the smaller sets that line his railing. He doesn't complain about being in a chair. He doesn't complain about anything. So for him to have something to get him motivated to, to do something other than feel sorry for himself, which he's never done, I thought it was great, then go do it. His love of deer and shed antlers led Larry to Antelope Island. He grew up near the island, and although he's never had the opportunity to hike it, he has grown to love the big bucks that reside there. In January of 2002, my friend Ryan Britt and I uh, came out here for the first time. We'd heard there were bucks out here, we'd never seen any bucks, but we came out here on our first trip, we found eight bucks with two uh, quality bucks. It's the closest place to heaven. Over the years, Larry and his friends have acquired thousands of hours of video from the island and across the West to share with their friends. To feed their fever, they also started an event called Antler Fest, where thousands of antler enthusiasts meet at Cabela's in Lehigh to trade, show, and collect antlers. But the lure of the island has always tugged at Larry's heart. It's a special place. I love the island. This year, Utah legislators are tackling the issue of possibly allowing limited hunting for the deer and Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep that reside on Antelope Island. The hunt would be held in 2011, and there would be a total of four hunts, two for each species. Two tags would be available to the public in a drawing. Two other tags would be sold to the highest bidder, an auction that could bring upwards of a quarter of a million dollars to Antelope Island State Park, where, like many parks, revenue is down. Back in 2001, the Utah State Parks Board conducted a survey that found that more than 50% of the public polled opposed hunting on the island. Despite the money, Larry agrees. I've always had strong feelings against the hunt on Antelope Island. Uh, the, the deer population, I just don't think, warrants the need for hunting. Uh, they can't go anywhere, so what's the point of the hunt? You know, if you, you, know, you want to farm-raise mule deer, go do it. This, these are not farm-raised deer, so you shouldn't hunt them like that. Not the fact that it's just a state park, but I think more so it's, it's a place where anybody can go out and see these great bucks that haven't been hunted for almost 30 years. So should yeah. deer and sheep be hunted on the island? On our Rough Net Outdoors webpage, we've set up a poll question to find out what you think. Log on, cast your vote. Next week, we'll show you what the results are. Big herd of buffalo up there. Larry's passion has led to some health issues. Hours of editing video and venturing out to find deer have taken a toll. Last year, he developed a fist-sized pressure sore that required an operation. I couldn't get the same excitement that I had in years past. So the, the passion hasn't died. I just have to be smarter with my body. Friends of Larry say he is their inspiration. When they have a bad day, they can always look to him to lift their spirits with his enthusiasm 
for life and mule deer. Those guys are the ones that take me out and, and they're sacrificing their time. And they're my inspiration to go out. So I guess that we feed each other's fire. So because of health reasons, Larry says he won't be as dedicated to his passion of mule deer as he has in the past, but he says he still plans on coming out here to Antelope Island to check on his favorite mule deer herd. Hey, coming up on Rough Knit Outdoors. Uh, overall, a lot of support and success from sportsmen that basically helped us with this regulation. A new law and new structures aim to protect wintering Wyoming wildlife. That story in a moment, but first, tonight's brain teaser, our Roughing It Outdoor quiz. There are nine main islands in the Great Salt Lake, but Antelope 